Well, good afternoon guys and gals. It's me, George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. And uh, I have a limited amount of time to spend out here in the shop today. But what I thought I would do is try to get one thing finished off, and that's assembling my um, right angle drive box. And uh, so we're going to do that. And this already has the, the bottom shaft I never took out and the bearing that is in the back down in here was never taken out because I couldn't figure out a way to extract it without ruining it. So I've done all the cleaning and everything with those in place. And uh, I have reinstalled the gasket, uh, the gasket, the seal for here. I have the original gasket that's pretty decent shape and I'm just going to put some uh, um, gasket cement on it on both sides to seal it up and we are going to be using uh, stainless steel fasteners I think I said that in my video last night and so we need to install the shaft and the bearing this shaft is going to go in here um, I have already installed the gear on the bottom here and you know what I don't remember what oh there it is right there I was going to say I don't remember what happened to the snap ring but there it is right there um, I'm going to get my snap ring pliers looks like maybe I need to zoom you in a little bit closer perhaps see if I can be aware of what I'm doing so I don't get you out of frame you know what I'm saying? So, this has this snap ring frame, a uh, snap ring frame, this snap ring that goes in here. And we'll put our snap ring pliers on it. If I can get my old hands to stop shaking enough to there, get it, get it in the right place. Now what I'm going to do is stick it down in here and get it to sit down into the uh, groove. And there it is. I don't know if you could see that or not down in there. See that down in there? Yep, that's down in there now. Okay, so the next thing is for me to take this back gear and set it down in place in the back here. And then I'm going to take my shaft and this just gets dropped down in there like this. And it has serrations on it, so it engages that. I'll let you see that. See that there? It sits in place there. And then the next thing is to put this, this uh, front bearing in. And it just slides down in there. It's a press fit like that. And that's as far as it goes. It don't go any further than that. And then uh, our front cover. I've already installed the uh, seal in it. And this is the original seal. I didn't get a new one because it was in good shape. And it was not leaking before. So uh, I'm going to put a little gasket sealer around this lip. gook off of there and I'm just going to put a very light coat of this stuff on here I don't want it oozing out all over the place I'm just going to wipe it around with my finger like that and we take our new uh, 
take our oil gasket and get it lined up properly. Like that. And then I'm going to run another bead of the silicone around this gasket. Just like that. And uh, again, I'm wiping most of it off. The idea is to hold it in place partly and also just to uh, aid in the resiliency of this old gasket because this gasket is, is fairly old, I'd say. So now we take this and we'll slide it down in place. See our gasket fits, our seal fits on there nice and snug. Now I'm hoping these bolts that I bought will work. They didn't have any one inch bolts, which was what I needed. These are inch and a quarter. I'm going to crank one of these in, the bottom one mainly, first. They had no lock washers on them. They were just uh, originally they were hex head bolts. In fact, here's one of the original bolts here. And uh, screw it in here and make sure that I don't have any interference. And I think it's going to be okay. I don't see any issue down in there. So we'll run these all in. And I could be using my impact gun to drive these in, but I figured I'd just do it by hand. I'll speed this part up while I'm doing that. How's that? So you don't have to sit there for hours on end watching me. You know, now that I got those in there, I'm thinking I should have put some... Uh, On slip on those threads. That's what I'm going to do. I'll take it back out and I'll put it on there and I'll bring it right back. How's that? Loctite, that's the word I'm looking for. Okay, so I got my uh, Loctite on all of these screws and I think what I'm going to do temporarily, I, I did clean the inside of this pulley off and I'm going to set this into the pulley just temporarily like that so it'll hold it up because the next thing for me to do is put the oil down in there and uh, I'm using this STP Yeah, it's uh, thick like a honey and uh, it should work real well. It's similar, similar consistency, I would say, to gear oil, but as other special additives. Now, I'm presuming that I only need to fill it up to below about halfway up is what I'm figuring. So I don't want to get whoa, I don't want to get it filled up so much that it creates too much pressure in there. 
So there we have our oil installed. And uh, yeah, this will work just fine and dandy. I'll pull it up. <coughs> well, I'll lift it up here and let you see what we got going on in there. See that? Pretty cool, huh? Just like honey. Now, and I made I made a new gasket for the cover because the old one uh, came apart when I was disassembling it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put some um, silicone around the edges. Okay, come on there. Get it to come out. I had, I've been gone for about an hour. I had to go on a, a wagon ride with my grandchildren. And the town is having some Christmas celebrations, and one of the things they had was wagon rides. And so we went uptown and went for a ride on a two horse drawn wagon. No hay in it though, but I like to sing so I did get them singing and we were singing uh, Jingle Bells and uh, Over the River and Through the Woods to Grandmother's House we go. So we'll put that on there. That silicone will stick it down a little bit. Now I'll we'll put a small bead around the top here too. Just enough to seal it. Not enough to be oozing out all over the place. And uh, we'll wipe this down. Like that, get that cobbly goop out of there. And the same thing I did before, I'm going to put some Loctite on the screws that we're going to use for this. Gasket on here. Just make sure we get my gasket holes lined up right. And we're using button head screws top and front. And uh, I'm going to be using button head screws in a lot of the applications on this build. It's because they're nice clean looking. Whoops. Different size. There we go. I got one. Slide the drawer back in. screws that were on here were just straight slot like this right here this is one of the original screws that was in there you can see that or not probably not focusing on it there you go and none of these had lock washers on them which kind of surprised me when I was taking it apart bolts that I had mounting this to the frame I have here and these are stainless steel bolts 
Um, they didn't come with the, the housing. They were some that I had supplied when I was installing it. Let me wipe the excess off around the edges here. So, there you have it. We're all done assembling this. And I'm just going to give each one of these a, a little bit more of a crank down. And we'll take you over and I'll set it in place on the frame so you can see where it mounts. And there you go. That's where it will mount. Of course, the motor mounts on this plate here. And uh, that's our project for today. Unfortunately, that's all the time I have for today. Hope you all have had a good day. It has been rather uh, mild here. It's been pretty cloudy, but it's in the 40s and um, very pleasant for us here this time of year. So until next time, this is George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, saying thanks for watching for commenting and for subscribing and thanks for stopping by Goofy's Garage because you know the pavement ends here. Bye for now.